FOF TV is brought to you by the Lion's Den. The den always has been and always will be about enjoying family and friends in an environment steeped in Happy Valley tradition. So come back to the den, the perfect place to recall old memories while creating new ones. Who does the best Joe Paterno impression on Who does the best Joe? I'd say it's between, between Chima. Okay. Uh... Zordich okay. and myself. Yeah. Well, if you're going to say I that, I mean, I can't. We do can't it call now. you like on. We, we can't say right now. If Joe were here and wanted to get the media out, what might he say? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what would Joe say. He claims that he can do a Joe Paterno impression. I tried to put him on the spot. Uh, and, uh, so, you know what? You can't be a real entertainer to the people if you can't address on the spot. Now, if I were doing, you want Joe Paterno press conference, pre practice, you know? Throwing the reporters out of practice here. What would he say? Get out of here with those cameras! <laughs> that's, that's Joe's usual. And then after in a squad meeting, I'd be like, there's some things I liked, some things I did. We gotta get better. Every day we're getting better. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's usual. What would Joe. he say to you specifically? Coley, get your hands inside when you're blocking them. I can't take 15 on you every play. Hey, Z. Come here, Zordich. Yeah. Yeah, Zordich. <laughs> we need a Joe impression. Beach faked on it. Beach faked on the Joe impression, man. I don't give a good Joe. Who gives a good Joe? Who? I don't know. I already gave my Joe. <laughs> right right now, my Joe's the top. Beach him froze up. He was like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, I just did the same thing, too. <laughs> Who does the best Joe, then? Yeah, yeah. Outside of Chima. Uh, oh God, Emery Edder gives a good Joe impression. Where's Emery? Yeah, Drew Asterino gives a good Joe impression. Well, who's the funny? Yeah, Drew Asterino. So is Drew Asterino. Asterino. Well, let me get, okay. We should get Drew Asterino. Mark's good. Huh? Mark's good. You Mark. know who's Mark. real good at it, though, is Colin Wagner. He's good. Okay. We've been told that you do a great Joe Paterno imitation. Could you hit us with it? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. They must just be joking around. Somebody told me that you do an awesome Joe Paterno imitation. No. No, 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 no. All right, okay. now come on, you have to... No, I can't. Were they just setting you up, saying yeah. that you might be a guy to go to? <laughs> yeah, I can't do those. Have you ever done it? Or no. You just don't want to do it on camera here? No, I've never even done it. I've never practiced before. And somebody mentioned that, that you do one. Is, were they... Yeah, I don't think I've or? ever done a Joe impression, to tell you the truth. I'm sure Brandon Beecham did a good Joe impression last year. Uh... <laughs> having some fun asking players who does the best Joe impersonation. Who do you think does the best? I do, but I'm not going to share it with you. But I've had you more. You can't claim you do I've, if you're not going to do it. <laughs> I've, 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 I started, Who's been yelled I've, at more? I've started, yes, I, believe me, I've seen the yelling up close a lot more than any of these guys have. Some guys go, oh, you yelled at me. I said, no, no, try that in an enclosed room when you were, uh, you messed something up at his office. <laughs> but I definitely do the best one because I've had the most practice. Well, who does the best Joe Paterno impression on the team? <laughs> I would say Ali Agbu, man. Really? Yeah, he's, he's good. He's over here. Yeah. Um, we're about to find out if he's the guy. Who does the best joke uh, imitation on the team? To be honest with you, I think there's about 10 of us that do it to a T. Somebody um, said you. I would say, okay, I'm, I'm in the top 10. I think, you know, it's me, you know, Chima Coley, uh, it's, uh, you know, Pete Massaro, and, and who else? I mean, we have a lot of guys that can, you know, pull his voice off pretty well. You know, so well, let's he, hear it. Yeah. Oh, man. If he had to clear right. the media out from here, what would he say? He'd be like, I, I think you guys should get out of here. You, you're a bunch of jerks. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, so that's that's usually along the lines. Of he that's his word. Get him out of here. You know, so he's very high pitched, and you know, you gotta throw your hands. He's he's Italian, so he likes to be very, you know, throw his hands last. <laughs> so you gotta say, get out of here. Get it, boo. You know, so something like that. People were talking about him looking lethargic and stuff out in um, out in Chicago. Uh, what are you guys seeing at practice? Is he still bringing the? Uh, and you could yes. feel free to use your impersonation. Yes, he's still. Hi, he's still going crazy. He's still, you know, telling us, you know, to fix this and fix that. He's still the same job, you know. And, you know, people, you know, see what they want to see, but they're not at the practices. You know, he's still screaming at us all the time and, you know, being loud and, and, and making sure the practice is going, you know, smoothly. So, you know, he's, he's still the same job to me. What's the craziest thing he ever said to you? Oh, man. Recently, because I remember before he told me he was going to ship me off in a box and send me back to Staten Island. But uh, <laughs> recently was today, actually. We were getting ready for our senior pitches and, uh, he says, you know, the only way to shut you up is to put one of these in your mouth. And he had a football. And he said, it's the only way you're here to shut up. So I guess that was that was one of the craziest things he said to me. There's been a lot of talk about how uh, Joe looked tired and Joe looked this and looked that out in Chicago. What's he been like at practice? Have you been still hearing Man, the same? You know what? You know what's funny is people say Joe's going to retire and he's too old every year. 
Yeah. He's been here for 40 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's still in your face at practice. He still lets you know exactly what he likes, and what he doesn't like, what he wants, and what he doesn't want. You know what I'm saying? Active as ever. I watched it on whatever it was, Big Ten Network when yeah. it was on, and uh, as soon as the first question got asked about coaching until you die, I said, this is not going to go right. <laughs> that did not start him off in a good mood. And I, so, you know, I felt like... Uh, you, you guys know him enough to know that he enjoys that, like we all enjoy root canal. So mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it, and it's different when he's sitting in the room with you, with the beat guys who he knows, who he's familiar with, and then he goes out to Chicago when you got people just firing some, some, some good questions. But you know, you're gonna coach till you die. I mean, how do you answer that? It used to be they'd ask him when he's gonna retire. Now they want to know when he's gonna <laughs> kick the bucket. I mean, so. You know, it didn't concern me because I've been at the house with my kids and they've been running around and he's chased them and, you know, so I, I, I haven't seen that element of him really slowing down because he's, you know, he's still after me in terms of, you know, what are we doing in practice today, what's with the quarterbacks, let's make sure we're doing this, make sure we're doing that, and he's writing things down and, and giving us notes in terms of, you know, the next day he'll say, yes, they practice, all this drill, I don't like that drill, you ought to work on it this way. Um, so, I mean, he hasn't really slowed down for us in, in that regard. Yeah.